Hi, Andy here from DIY Band. Uh, welcome to this video on EQing, mixing um, vocals, make them pop, make them stand out. Um, all the processes that you go through, you know, along with, um, I mean, we've got other things like this automation that helps out with the vocals and some backing vocals and, and some buses. And I'll show you my process on this particular track. It's just a little punky um, track that I've been working on. Uh, and we'll uh, see we'll see how we how we get on with that so um as you can see i'm not using zine waves podium today i'm using reaper i've got the evaluation i just wanted to give it a go really and see the difference between uh i say commercial i mean a paid for software as opposed to Reaper, as opposed to Zinewave being free and all. Um, obviously, there is a paid for version of um, Podium, but it has its limitations, the free one. Um, and this evaluation license is completely open. And to be fair, I'm, I'm not liking how much I'm liking it. It's quite good. I'm still getting used to it, so bear with me. Um, if I do press the wrong key command or um any of that i mean it is quite good you can you can add in all your different key commands but and we're not here for that we're going for the vocals so what have we got here here we have um the vocals main vocals here um with all the effects on i tell you what let me uh play you a little sample of what it does sound like um with the vocals why did you come back did you forget something Maybe it was your dignity I'm not the type to turn my back on someone But from now on you're dead to me I know you need help, that's for sure Okay, so that's like verse and we've got our chorus in here And I'll stop that there for our rated, G-rated loveliness Um, so process that i've gone through to get these vocals sitting right on top of everything else and bear in mind most of this is all mixed in is um quite a lot of automation bringing like the guitars down um uh bringing the guitar the guitars down in the verse bringing it back up again um and all that jazz so that helps a lot of you know if you, you if you listen to the guitars here um, and listen to the volume change when the when the lyrics come in. Why did you come back? Did you forget something? Maybe it was your dignity. I'm not the type. You know, it goes up a little bit there. No vocals, so I thought you know it's a little bit make it a centre point. Um, just gonna move my mic here because it's wobbling about a bit. Um. Yeah, I mean, that, they could probably go up a little bit more, to be honest. Um, but as I said, the, the music itself, if I just muted the... That's pretty, pretty much done. A little bit of tweaking, but nonetheless. But automation is going to be a massive friend to you when you're mixing your vocals. Um, but from the vocals on their own... What do we do to them? Well, here's what I do to them. Here's what they were before. I'll tell you what, let me take this off. It's what they sound like before any... I'll bypass them and, and then re-enable them. Why did you come back? Did you forget something? Maybe it was your dignity. Why did you come back? Did you forget something? Maybe it was your dignity. Oh, don't move that. Sorry, yeah, this is me still getting used to the software. Why did you come back? Did you forget so something? Fun. Maybe it was your dignity. Why did you come back? Did you forget something? Maybe it was your dignity. So they're a lot fuller. Obviously a bit louder. Um, but it's a lot cleaner as well i found you know it's pretty clean um i'm gonna mute that mute that let's mute the backing vocals as well i'll, I'll go through these in a second um now there are multiple ways to, to record your uh vocals but i mean the way i've done it this time 
the, for vocal thickening, you can record like a lot of people can record like bridges or choruses three or four times. They do your main your main vocals that will run all the way through the track, but then it, when the chorus kicks in, it will be doubled up, uh, maybe even tripled up, quadrupled up, whatever. They'll have another three recorded separately. Now the reason why you would record it separately is because you're never going to sing it exactly the same twice. So there are those slight um, differences that thicken the voice instead of, uh, you know, with the, with the gain staging and the volume control and the mixing in there, you won't really realise that there's three different versions of it. It will just sound fuller. And obviously with your EQ helping it sit in as well. So let's take all of these off and we'll go through them one by one. Um, first one I've done is I've added just a gate because there was a little bit of noise in there and I just couldn't bother to go through and cut all the all the empty bits out so I would recommend cutting the empty bits out um, but for the purpose of this video I've just added a gate in um, first thing I would do is add a compressor so let's do before and after with compressor what oh why did you come back did you forget something Maybe it was your dignity. Why did you come back? Did you forget something? Maybe it was your dignity. Listen to come back. Why did you come back? Did you for? Why did you come back? Did you? It's less attacky, I guess. So what I've done is I've just taken it. Got got a relatively slow attack on there. Um. You know, only take it down by 3 dB. But what I want, I want to get here is not very much compression. Compression. Why at did all. you come back? Did you fall? That 3 dB is good. Maybe it was your dignity. You know, on an, on an average, 3 dB. I didn't want to add any makeup game. It was quite quiet as it was, but I knew I was going to be adding quite a lot more VSTs in here. And you know, I'm hitting. What am I hitting? Why did you come back? Did you forget something? May 25 ish. <laughs> Because of your own apathy. Yeah, it's not really getting. So that's just keeping, you know, just keeping it in control. Second thing, obviously, is uh, EQ. So this one I will refer to as corrective EQ. Uh, what I've done, I've rolled off a lot of the bottom. Um, in fact, I might even roll off a little bit more because I've got quite a deep. There's quite a deep voice in there, so. Nice to have a little bit of warmth, but that will come with this with this EQ. I don't really. What am I? What's it sitting at? Seventy. That's not too bad, really. Uh, it's just getting rid of that low rumble. That's where all of like all of your, your your mic rumble, your foot tapping, things like that. That's coming through the stand and then through into the mic. That's where that kind of stuff is going to be sitting. So it's always nice to clean it out and get rid of that. I like to get rid of one um, K. Pretty much on every vocal track. It's just a frequency I've never agreed with. Illa, Illa. Did you come back? Did you forget something? Maybe it was your dignity. What I do is Why I'll did boost you it. come back? Did you forget something? Maybe it was your dignity. Why did you come back? Did you forget now, something? Maybe it was your dignity. Probably hear that. It's just very. I don't know, I just never liked it. And when when you're boosting the volumes further on up here, it really stands out. I've taken a little bit of the high mids out. And there was a frequency around there that I didn't really agree with either. Um, but it's fun because I... I well, we'll get to that. So I, f I fished around for frequencies I didn't like. This is corrective. Getting it nice and neutral and no bad smells in there at all. So let's go through with a... Before and after. Did you come back? Did you forget something? Maybe it was your dignity. Why did you come back? Did you forget something? Maybe it was your dignity. Bit cleaner, bit clearer. I mean, there's not. It's recorded pretty well, to be fair. Um, so there wasn't really much. It was just a few frequencies when it was boosted that were sticking out. Now this. Uh, is a de -esser. Very essential, especially if you are going to be boosting. Um, here, I boosted quite a lot of the highs. So if you're going to be boosting 
some of the highs or if your singer's got quite a high pitched voice you know that it'll resonance up there it's quite it, well I say it's quite it's very important to have a de -esser. Um as usual all of these VSTs are free um, I mean just because I'm using Reaper here doesn't mean you can't do it in your door I mean this is a valuation license 60 days valuation I thought that was awesome um, but I mean go back and do this in Podium or whatever door you've already got if you've got like a free door with your audio interface so what a DS does it takes away those sibilants those the t t t and the s s s it cuts them down it finds them and and lowers their volume so we can go through this this that this uh vst is pretty good where you can listen to what it's actually taking out and nothing else so we'll listen to i don't think there's see if there's any did you come here. back did you forget something yeah. maybe it was your dignity let's just what it's taking out They don't sound like very good noises, so I wouldn't want them in my mix. Um, you know, I've got quite a fast attack because, like, if you're saying like, tss, it's very. I mean, really, if you do it, um, it depends. You have to mess around with your reduction and your attack together, really, um, because otherwise you'll end up giving people like a lisp or something. Um, so, yeah, you have to find like a happy medium. I mean, really, I don't know why that was on at one. It probably go down. You want to, you want to get like the first like transient really but you don't want it to to overtake you want it to hit there and then you want it to calm down afterwards did you come back did you forget something maybe it was your dignity why did you come back did you forget something maybe it was your dignity why did you come back did you forget something maybe it was your dignity um, so there's that, and then I'm going to add a little bit of thickening to all of the vocal with a tiny bit of reverb. Now we're talking, you're going to have mostly dry, clearly, and you want, I mean, for it depends what kind of music you're doing. For this song, for instance, I want uh, like maybe 20, 30%, max 30% um, reverb in there. So we'll add this in, listen to what it does on its own. Did you come back? Did you forget something? Maybe it was your dignity. I'm gonna do for the sake of go to the bridge a little bit as well. Sake of sanity. You need help, that's for sure. No excuse to be a Oh no, let's go back a little bit. Bridge. This second part of the verse, I do. The type to turn my back on someone, but from now on you're dead to me. Not the type to turn my back on someone. But here's your dry, you're clean. If we take all this out, there won't be any very little reverb. The type to turn my back on someone, but from very little reverb there. Um. But I just wanted just a little bit. Room size is quite important. Um, and so is your pre-delay. Your pre-delay is like how long after the sound will the reverb of that sound start. Now, the higher you have it, the later it will be. So the longer that word will travel on for um, at the end of the phrase. So if we... Listen to the, uh, the end of, of this word that all the way up now your dignity yeah uh what was we at? We were at 220 weren't we uh, da, 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 da. um your dignity i've got it just trailing you know just like slapping the end uh of slapping the end of the um word there of the phrase um so now to tidy it all up what i do is do you know what mm, what i might even do is add another compressor on there tighten it up a little bit more i'll see if it makes any difference um but first let's add now this one is a is a boosting eq it's the same eq but i've used this one just to boost the frequencies that all of this as this all of this lot here that on upwards have given me the sound that I want for the for the song, and then this 
EQ is going to be me making the best of that sound, the best of that good fixed sound that I can. Now, I wanted a little bit of warmth in there. I didn't want too much eyes, so I took out, I can't help take, but a little bit of, of the of the 1K out. Um, your dignity. I'm not the type to turn my back on someone, but from now on you're dead to me. I'm not the type to turn my back on someone, but from now on you're dead to me. I'm not the type to Does turn my too, back on someone, but from now on you're dead to me. I'm not the okay, so that so that's that sound. That was my process. Really quick, really easy, nothing fancy. What I'm gonna do now is just recon. Uh, here. Yeah, that's why. Um, let's see if this compressor is gonna fix anything. Just to tidy, you know, just to sweeten the deal. I'm not the type to turn my back on someone, but from now on you're dead to me. I'm not the type to turn my back on someone, but from now on you're dead to me. I'm not the type to turn my back on someone, but from now on you're dead to me. I'm not the type to turn my back on someone, but from now on you're dead to me. I'm not the type to turn my back on someone. Someone. Into that. You're welcome. That does. Let's go from the bridge to the chorus. No excuse to be a whore. You've been messing around. Not to let you down. You're the cause of your own apathy. Fairly steady, to be fair. I don't think. I'll leave it on. I'll leave it on. Being as we have no limitation on CPU on this one, uh, on Reaper, so you know, um, I know this is all about DIY bands, you know, do it for free, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it, guys. I'm thinking about getting Reaper, um, but this is the only song that I've done in it, so who knows? I might do another one and see how I get on with a new track. Um, so then what have I done? I have added this little bad boy. So in the chorus, what I have done is I have sent the vocals. You know, I was saying where you can record two um, instances of, of the of the chorus to thicken it up a little bit. Well, a little cheat way to do it. Um, it's not great. I mean, I would recommend doing it twice, it, but this works as well. Depends what kind of effect you're going for. Is send your vocals from your lead vocals to to other tracks and pan them left and right now here's the trick uh if i can zoom in oh no i'm the zoom in button these two no it's got maybe it's because i'm hovering over that uh let's just grab these down now the trick then is to add a delay one so this one up as well you can see that they are configured ever so slightly differently. You know, all the volumes are the same. It's the delay time that matters here. Um, so what that will do is that, that it, I only want the, um, um, the, the wet coming out of it. So the dry, the dry sounds completely off and the effect is up. So I only want the, the, the delay, the actual delay effect coming out of these tracks. So we've got the we've got this whole track going into these. Um and actually I think they're going in pre pre effect as well. Um send post pan. We've got pre post effects. Could send no. So if we sent it post effects, what that would do is that would include all of those VSTs that, all of the VSTs that I've put on the lead vocals. It would include all of these as well. All of those will get sent to here, and then that would get sent back out. 
Now you can do it that way, a lot of people do it that way. Well, what they would do is they'd have a master uh, vocal bus, uh, have a whole vocal bus and everything gets sent to that. Um, and then it all gets done. But I don't want to do that for this, I just wanted to keep it nice and simple. Um, just showing you the technique really and you can figure out in what order and what way you want to you want to sort it uh, layer it all up yourself um, so what I've done then as I said put this all into here uh, added these delays so if we listen to these we can listen with the vocals and it only comes in the chorus because I've added automation to mute it um, I think that's all the way down it should be it should have been I mean um, let's, how do we zoom in? Oh yes, it, it, um, so it only turns on during the chorus. What I've done is I've grouped these into this folder and then this, um, then is playing, is playing the effect. So this is with them on. With the vocals. Oh, dead to bridge. me. Not the type to turn my back on someone. But from now on, you're dead to me. I know you need help, that's for sure. No excuse to be a Okay, so you, you can hear that. It thickens it up a little bit. It's quite loud when you're playing it in solo. When you're playing with everything, you can't... The idea is to not really be able to tell that that's what's happened. You know, oh, they, yeah, they've got vocal delays on that, you know. Um, if we listen to, to them soloed out, I'm not sure whether this is going to work. Yeah, it does. But that's the effect. And be because the delay is the, exactly the same track, it's, it's this exactly, but they're being delayed at different times, so they hit your ears at different times, so it creates a, a sense of, of, you know, thickening, um, and obviously pan them right and left, and then um, an EQ just to cut off loads of the, of the bottom end, I probably didn't have to cut off that much, um, but I wanted to, so sue me. My personal taste personal preference so let's listen to that when it comes in and see how thick back it on someone but from now on you're dead to me i know you need help that's for sure no excuse to be a If you really, really listen, you can hear it. If you know what you're listening for. Um, obviously, I've just showed you, so you know what you're listening for. You really focus on it. You can definitely hear it. It's definitely there. Um, but it's so subtle that you feel like it's more thick, but you wouldn't really necessarily know why. Um, so that's what I would do for the vocals, really. That's that's that. And the next thing I do is, um, if any backing vocals, this is how I would mix in the backing. Now, I found a oh, I found a Reaper VST called Retune, which I was playing around with before. Uh, or I played uh, start recording this video. So let's solo these vocals out. Take these off, and they're, they're awful by the way, I just really quickly one take recorded them in. You be messing around, and I didn't let you down. Okay, a little bit of EQ. You be messing around, and I didn't let you down. That I've probably rolled off a little bit too much bottom end there. You be mess around and I didn't let you down. That's okay. Um Use loads. I love using a lot of um Um da -da 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 -da. What's it? DSA on, on backing vocals because they're meant to be there to support and if you've got loads of siblings coming through, they're gonna they 
going to pierce through. And you don't want them to pierce through. You just want them to be there to back up the the main vocals. You don't want them to take to draw attention to themselves. You know, you can really tune them in. You can really EQ them because I mean they're quite high. Anything anything that's like sitting in the high frequencies, you're going to need a lot of DSer to make it sit there nicely. And um, a lot of compression as well. You don't want the vol the volume to fluctuate. Uh, on the on the backing vocals you want them to be really compressed so as again they're just there as a bed to support the the main vocals you've been messing around and i didn't let you down you've been messing around and i didn't let you down so you see that's taking like nearly that's like seven seven db at points um which is nuts but it's only backing i say it's only backing vocals that's that you know you're, you're making them solid the more you compress it and um, without making it sound bad um you know if you can get it to the point where it's oh a little bit more and that would be bad as long as it's not bad you're good you know um a little bit of tuning so i was playing with it obviously if this is free vst it's like you can manually tune it it reads your so what i've done i've only done this bit i think so we'll go to the next bit and we'll retune it um show you how it works so do that and then click there do that so that's on loop oh no i have done it look you've been messing around and i didn't let you down i didn't want you back because i'm not into that so the way it works is these blue lines aren't here and i think i wouldn't have done these you been messing around and I didn't let you down. So there you go. So they are not tuned at all. <laughs> and you didn't need me to tell you that, but you know, they're not. So what you do, you go to manual correction, turn manual correction on, turn make sure this is off. Um you change I think the attack time started at 220, 250. Uh, I turned it down a bit because I wanted it a bit more auto-tuned, really. Um I'll show you the, the difference and what that would do. But what this does is it analyzes your your frequency and then you can pick like your, what the notes meant to be and just say look through this bit here make that that note this bit there make that that note that one there that note that one there. No, i mean you can go yeah i want there through to there you know whatever um that needs to be that note and then the amount that that had i mean the how quickly this note here where it was obviously wrong changes to go up to this note depends on this so let's change it i don't know like 20 and it'll be a massive difference it'll be horrible but it'll show you you know highlight what it's actually doing you've been messing around and i didn't let you down and here that is it's quite bad quite bad so we go like 10 you've been messing around and i didn't let you down very horrible so i found you know anywhere between 80 to 100 120 was quite good for backing vocals you've been messing around and i didn't let you down not too bad is it i mean that's i went to 80 I thought that's a little bit too much a little bit more I said you don't want to draw attention to your backing vocals. You've been messing around. Uh. You've been messing around, and I didn't let you down. That's it. So that's that. That's into there. Um, I mean, the highlight of the video really is is this little, this neat little trick of bussing your main vocals into two separate tracks and then um you know putting uh, the delay on them so let's have a listen with all of that in mind uh loopy off and we'll go from uh let's go from the chorus to bridge to no, verse bridge chorus I'm not the type to turn my back on someone But from now on you're dead to me I know you need help, that's for sure No excuse to be a whore You've been messing around And I didn't let you down Not because of your own apathy I didn't want you back Cause I'm not into that Now, 
now it's the case. So we've got the sounds, we've got them sounding like we want them. Now I'm mixing them in. You know what? I think I might take that second. This one. I'll take that. That volume up. So gain stage. We had loads of headroom. Twice before you tore my world down I know for you it comes with these Apologies when set your house on fire But I've got matches about these I know you need help, that's for sure No excuse to be a whore Stupid mess around I'm gonna let you down You're the cause of your own apathy I didn't want you back Cause I'm not into that You're welcome to fuck around Just don't fuck me There you go man So I mean You can tell massive difference between Chorus and verse And you know what really helps Like this is the automation here And the automation Bringing these guitars down um, You know I've boosted snare and um overheads at certain points as well um that's why it's good don't max your things out man it's called you know gain staging one of the most important things to learn um is how to gain stage your, your tracks and that way you can get the most out of them i mean if anything you can always just turn your bloody master up turn your headphones up as long as they're all sitting quite nicely together and they're not peaking and you've got headroom to you know make things louder if you want it i mean i've only Automated most of the time really well up to there. It still needs still got a lot to do, but helps with your vocals. If you want them to stand out, stick out, you're gonna be looking at your compressor, you're gonna be looking at your EQ, um and and your DSer, and then to enhance them, to thicken them up, you're gonna be wanting your reverb your delays into your other tracks or uh, you know uh, actual other tracks um of the bits that you want to double up and um backups are great as well backup vocals are great for for picking up your vocals so that's it if you have any questions let me know see some of you have been um asking questions on some of my videos which is great i'm um glad to be helping some people out uh, any questions as i said let me know and i will do my best to get back to you till next time I'm off. Bye. If you don't have a drummer or any way to record drums, try AIDrums.com. Recording drums can be difficult, but AIDrums.com will make the process easy and for a fraction of the cost of paying a recording studio. Record yourself playing drums with your phone or a cheap mic and send it in for processing. AI Drums will convert this into a legit drum track using special pulse detection techniques. Using discount code ANDY, get your hands on great professionally recorded drums converted from your rough recordings at 15% off.